Hey, welcome to my studio. Today I want to show you how to create this two-tone balloon garland with balloon chain accents. So to start off, I'm going to inflate 30 11 inch and 5 16 inch balloons in both pink and black. And I'll be using my electric balloon inflator to get them all to size. Now I'm inflating an 11 inch and a 16 inch at the same time. And you always want to make sure the 16 inch balloon is on the trigger side of your balloon inflator so you can keep adding air to it once the 11 inch is full. Once I've got both of them to size, I'm going to let a little bit of air out of my 16 inch and press down on it so it's nice and round. Then I'm going to tie them together into a pair by twisting the nozzles around twice and tie them together with a simple knot. Now this will create our first pair and I'll repeat this step with all my 11 and 16 inch balloons, tying them together in different combinations and sizes. The 11 inch balloons I'm inflating anywhere between 6 and 10 inches in diameter to give my garland an organic look. But the most important thing to note is that I'm only tying balloons of the same color together into pairs and that's because I'm going for a color blocked method and I'll tie these balloons into clusters of all the same color to make those clusters I'm gonna take two pairs and overlap them so that the nozzles touch right in the center and then twist one balloon from each pair around each other locking them into a quad I created a couple quads in both colors, but I also wanted some clusters made of more balloons. So to make a cluster of six balloons, I'm gonna make a quad first and then add to that one more pair by inserting it right into the middle of that quad so all the nozzles touch. Bring the two balloons that we just introduced all the way around to the cluster and twist those two around each other, locking them into a cluster of six. In a similar fashion, if I take four pairs and twist them all together, that'll give me a cluster of eight balloons and a really full piece I can tie into my garland. So I've got quads, clusters of six, and clusters of eight in both pink and black, and I'll tie those all together into a garland in just a moment. But first, we need to create some accents to add into our garland. The first of which is a chain of these six inch black quick link balloons. These balloons have the added benefit of a tail on the end of them so we can daisy chain them together. Now I'm going to inflate 25 of these with my hand pump to 6 pumps of air or approximately 5 inches in diameter. I'm going to inflate these two at a time by tucking the first balloon I inflated under one of my fingers that's holding the pump while I inflate the second one to the same dimension. Then I can take the two nozzles and tie them together in a pair just like we did our larger balloons. This saves us from having to tie lots of extra knots and starts us on our way to creating a long daisy chain of these. Once all of the quick links are inflated, I'm going to start tying them into two long chains by taking the tails of two balloons and tying them together in a doubled knot, making sure I squinch those two balloons right next to each other so I get nice even spacing between all of my quick links. I made two chains, one with 15 balloons and one with 10 balloons to fit my design, but you could tie together as many as you like to fit your own setup. As a final touch, I'm going to go through and trim away all of the excess nozzles and tails so it gives my garland a nice clean look. Just make sure you don't cut any tails that are not tied in a knot first as that'll deflate the balloon. The second accent we need to make for our garland is some mini balloon clusters. So I'm going to inflate 24 pink 5 inch balloons to 4 pumps each before tying them together in quads. So just like we did the larger balloons, inflate 2 of them, tie them together in pairs, and then tie them into quads. Once we've got 2 quads made, we can then tie them together into this mini cluster using an empty 260 balloon that I've cut in half. I'm going to secure one quad to each end of this 260 balloon, and an easy way to do that is to pinch the end of the 260 against the nozzles of one of the quads, stretch it tight, and wrap it in a figure pattern around two of those balloons, and that will be enough tension to hold it to the end. Now you can always tie a double knot between the end of the 260 and one of the nozzles in the quad, and that would work just as well. Once you've got both balloons tied to either end of the 260, this little cluster is ready to be added to the garland. The final accent we need to prepare are these 16 inch foil chain link balloons. I used 15 of these in my design and I'm just going to inflate all of those using a hand pump until they're nice and taut. These balloons, just like foil letters or numbers, have these little tabs attached to the edge of the balloons so you could easily hang them into a banner, but we don't need them so I'm going to go along and remove all of those tabs with a pair of scissors and you can do this once they're inflated or you can cut all of these tabs off while the balloon's deflated which is much quicker and easier. Once all of those are removed, we now need to hide the nozzle away. So I'm going to fold it flat against the body of the balloon and hold it in place using a glue dash. So 
I'm going to take one of these, apply it right to the end of the nozzle, remove the paper backing, and fold the nozzle against the body of the balloon in the direction of the seam where the edges of our chain link meet, as that spot will most likely be covered up once we assemble our chain. To link all these balloons together, I'm going to take two balloons and slot them together right where that opening is. So one is vertical and one is horizontal. And then I'm going to rotate that balloon around so that the opening of one of my chain links is now free to be linked together with another balloon chain. Now I'm using this chain indoors, so I'm not sticking those ends together. But if you're going to be somewhere windy, you may want to add a glue dash at the opening of each chain link so they don't detach from each other. I'll be intertwining my balloon garland on this DIY PVC pipe stand, which is three feet wide, two feet deep, and five feet tall. And if you'd like to learn how to make one of these for yourself, I'll have a tutorial linked above. This design also looks great when attached to a wall or cascading down a stairwell, so choose whichever approach works best for your setup. Now let's assemble our balloon garland. So take your first cluster, and I'm going to secure all these together using some empty 260 balloons, but you could always use fishing line or curling ribbon, whichever method you like best. So I'm going to take the end of my 260 and secure it to my first cluster by wrapping it in a figure eight pattern a couple of times to secure it in place. Then I'm going to grab my next cluster and nestle it nice and tight against that first one, stretch the 260 tight across the center nozzles of that new cluster, and then wrap it in a figure eight pattern around two of the balloons in that new cluster and that will secure them together into a unit. Now I'm going to alternate using different sizes of clusters in my two colors so each section of the color is a different size giving it an interesting look. Now you may get to the end of your 260 balloon before you get to the end of your garland so to extend that 260 just tie another one end to end and then can keep adding balloon clusters. My balloon garland ended up being about 10 feet in length, but I did set aside a couple of balloon clusters that I can tie into the garland later on, giving my garland a fuller and richer look. Now I'm going to thread my balloon garland through my stand, and I'm going to go into the side and up over the top left side of my stand, giving it this nice angle from the top left down to the bottom right. But you can always rotate this around and twist it in a frame until it looks pleasing to you. Once I'm happy with the general placement of the garland, I'm going to add in those extra clusters we set aside earlier, and I'll be tying those in using an empty 260 that I've secured to the cluster, and I'll use it to tie it into the main body of the balloon garland. So I'm going to add in these extra clusters anywhere I want to widen it and add a bit more drama. To accent our garland, I'm going to tie in some of the balloon chains we made earlier, and I'll do that by tying an empty 260 balloon to the end link of both ends of my chain, making sure I leave one end of that 260 nice and long so I can tie it into the balloon garland. So at the very top end of my garland, I'm going to nestle the end of that chain right between two balloons, and then stretch out that 260 and wrap it around a couple of the balloons in the main garland, and that'll secure it in place. I'm then going to drape the chain towards the center of the garland, tucking in that other end and securing the 260. Now I want the chain to look like it's going in and out of the garland, so I'm going to grab my second section, which is a little shorter, and tuck it in right next to that first chain, and that gives it the illusion of peeking in and out of the garland. Next, I'm going to add our quick link chains in a similar manner. Now you can use the tail end of the quick links to tie it in, but if it's not quite long enough, you can always tie an empty 260 to the tail to give you a little bit more room to tie it into the garland. Because the quick link and the foil chain balloons are draping off of our garland, you're going to have to play around with the placement of not only the balloons in the garland, but in those chains as well. So be prepared for some experimentation to get the balloons to sit exactly how you want. Finally, we can add our last accent, which is our mini balloon clusters, and I'm going to place these anywhere where I need to hide some gaps or add a little bit more texture. To secure this to the garland, stretch the 260 between the two tiny quads behind one or two balloons in the main garland so that it's hidden from sight, and then you can play around with the placement of those two little quads until you're happy with where they're sitting. The sharp contrast in colors and the draping nature of this design makes it a beautiful statement piece for your next party or event. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Bye!